Welcome back everyone. We hope things are going well at home. Today we want to talk about a little bit of balance and core cool work and then we're going to incorporate the ball. So what you're going to do is stand on your left leg and bring your right knee up so we're balancing and then the whole time while having your right leg up you're going to one touch off a wall so it looks like this. So about 20 touches and then go on the opposite side. Okay, so now we're going to continue working on our balance and our stability, which again is great for injury prevention. We'll go back to our left leg and stand on that, bring our right knee up, and now we're going to go one bounce inside of the foot. Okay, so when we're indoors, we don't want to forget about working our throw-ins. So here's one way we can do this. You're three yards away from a wall. You're gonna work your core and abs as well. You're gonna go all the way back in a sit up and then come through, throw it against the wall, all the way back in a sit up, go through. Okay, so now we're gonna work our core. We have, in this case, a smaller soccer ball, but you could use a tennis ball or a regular soccer ball. And we're gonna squeeze the ball between our feet and then we're gonna work our core by bringing it over the ball on both sides. And then for an extra challenge, we could lift, try to lift our hands up. And again, a great core exercise, 20 on each side. Now we're gonna work our core again with a jackknife sit up. So we squeeze, we have the ball in our hands and we go all the way back. And then we bring it to our feet. We go down, all the way back up. And again, 20 times, and it's a great core exercise. Our last strength exercise with the ball is an elevated plank, which will be having our, our back of our yeah, feet, or our shins rather, elevating us into a plank. And then we go down for 20 push-ups. This also is great to work our stability and our balance. Thanks, friends, for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.